this now finally is what the ktm 390 adventure should have been because it's now more friendlier and more usable for new adventure riders but not all of the updates on this 2022 edition have been provided by ktm so first let's just take a look at what ktm has provided on this bike now you get a new color scheme this blue and orange which makes it look more eye-catching exciting than those a little drab looking orange and black and white and orange color schemes of the previous model then you get tougher wheels to withstand more impact now we don't want to try out and put this test to the claim so we'll believe ktm for what they say and since we've not heard too many stories about the 390 adventures alloys getting cracked or damaged when going off-roading we intend to believe that these new wheels should fare just as well or even better than the previous set of rims now the biggest update on the 2022 edition comes with the electronics mode so you get new traction control settings like you see over here uh, it says ride no that's our ride modes you get traction control settings so when you go into the electronics menu you hit on the ride mode which is over there you can change it to street and off-road yeah so that goes into off-road so basically off-road mode and uh, street mode basically they alter the traction control intervention for the terrain that you're riding on so now if you have street uh, traction control on when you're going off-roading well the bike is going to stutter the traction control is going to intervene and you won't have fun whereas if you select off-road there will be more play on offer you can slide the bike and uh, it will it doesn't intervene uh, quite sensitively so the sensitivity of the traction control is quite less but experienced riders would more enjoy just going to the main main settings and switching the traction control off completely yeah so traction control off you go into abs you put it into off-road abs which deactivates the abs intervention on the rear wheel and now the 390 adventure is off-road ready so on earlier editions if you had a fall or if you shut the bike just or kill the ignition via this kill switch it would forget the settings it would turn right back or it would start the traction control more uh, back into on position the abs would be back into street mode and the traction control like i said it would come back on so now what it only does is it remembers the the traction control mode that you left it in and the abs mode that you left the bike in traction control comes back on but it remembers the settings now what ktm should have updated and we are still pretty confused why they haven't done so is why haven't they still given us adjustable suspension the aid would have made riding this motorcycle so much better for a variety of scenarios so you could have tuned the ride to your liking for when you go off-roading when you go touring when you ride it in the city or when you're out in the mountain twisties why didn't they just give it it's still perplexing because the international model gets adjustable suspension and it just seems that KTM is doing cost cutting for India. Do you feel that's right? Let us know in the comments. Now moving on to the updates that the that our friend who has bought this bike has done is he's given the headlight a protector. He's fitted protectors for the fork. Now this comes standard but he's gotten new of uh, foot pegs for the rider to get to make it toothed and provide more grip when going off-roading especially when you're ride, riding with off-road boots he's also got a mobile mount and he's got a protector for the console and while these aren't making that much of a functional update or providing improvement in performance and rideability there is one update on this side of the motorcycle no i'll not show it to you 
to know those updates you need to check out our review video which drops on our channel pretty soon so don't forget to like share uh, this video subscribe to zig wheels hit that bell notification icon to get the update for when the review video of the new 2022 edition of the 390 adventure drops on our channel we should be having it go live pretty soon uh, oh i forgot this bike was not supposed to be sold by the ktm dealers they had just sent this out for uh, viewing purposes but ktm dealers got frustrated because there were no chips as i said in our previous video so we don't even know the exact x showroom price of this bike but the owner who bought this bike has said that compared to the previous model he has had to shell out seven to eight thousand rupees more for his on-road price now you can factor in how much that translates into the extra price and when it officially gets launched we will be putting out a post on our insta channel so make sure you follow us there as well and that's it from us thank you so much for watching bye bye